Hi everyone, this is Augustine Ariola, and I'm the assistant principal here at Dutcher Middle School with some Dutcher updates for the parents of 7th and 8th graders attending Dutcher Middle School this year as part of our distance learning uh, program. The start of the school year is less than two weeks away. It is fast approaching, so we want to share some important information about the start of the school year, student schedules, and what we all need to do to make sure that all of our students are ready day one. So normally we would have a um, parent information night or an in-person roundup where we're able to meet a lot of our families and also um, answer some of your questions. So if after this presentation you still have questions, please don't hesitate to email one of us here, a member of our leadership team, Scott Lucas, our site principal, has been here for 11 years. Uh, my name again is Augustine Ariola, and I'm the assistant principal. Uh, Ms. Torres Rogers is the school dean, and then we have two counselors, Ms. Julie Perino and Mr. Alvarado. So again, if you have any questions, uh, please don't hesitate to reach out to one of us and we'll do our best to address your concern or question. So let's get right into it. Uh, really, the, the big piece that I want all parents to walk away with after watching this video is really understanding how your child is going to be learning in this distance learning model, how it's going to look different than it did back in April when school, schools closed rather abruptly without much notice. Um, this time around, students are going to be following their school schedule. School schedules were mailed on Thursday. Hopefully they arrive no later than Monday. Some students, about 30% of our students, have a zero period. So their school day will begin at 727, either PE or um, a music class. Normally, students start with first period, but because first period is uh, traditionally a homeroom class, 10 minutes where we have the daily announcements and attendance and some um, other activities. But because it's only 10 minutes, for this purpose of distance learning, we decided to remove it. So students will start with their second period class at 8.15 in the morning. Each class period is divided into two parts. The first 27 minutes is teacher-led instruction with some guided practice where the teacher is checking for understanding, making sure students are getting it, and if not, reteaching key concepts or identifying which students are really struggling. So for that second portion of the class, the last 16 minutes, it's more student independent practice, it's more intervention based where students that need that extra support are receiving that extra support. Um, student outreach time as well. So if a teacher um, is able to maybe during that time contact a parent, email a parent, or even connect with the student individually, those 16 minutes every class period is really valuable time uh, where we're going to do our best to make sure no child is, is uh, struggling and left behind. Um, so then they have a passing period and then they log into their third period class and that pattern pretty much repeats the entire day. There is a 20 minute break built in 945 uh, to 1015 and then there is a 40 minute lunch also at 1145 and 1225. The school day would end at 247 and again the key part here is your child isn't going to be participating in lessons where the teacher is talking for, you know, 45 minutes every period and they're just, um, you know, listening. Um, teacher instruction is going to try to mirror as closely as possible the type of instruction that takes place in the class setting. So those peer interactions, group work, um, time for teachers to check in with students, students working with their workbooks where the computer may be open, but it's acting more as a medium for them to connect with the um, teachers ask questions, connect with their peers, but they may be working more with what are called student consumables, so workbooks, their uh, Eureka math, math module, and things like that. Um, so again, uh, students will be expected to follow this schedule. Attendance will be taken every day. Teachers will be monitoring student participation and engagement and if we, they do find that a student is struggling or maybe just not engaged, not participating, kind of checking out once they log in, 
um, they're going to connect with those students, they're going to connect with those families, they'll connect with the counselors, with the admin, so we can support families, support the student to really um, feel a little bit more comfortable in this setting and support them in a way that allows them to be successful. So some of the supports, um, our teachers um, are going to be trained in social emotional learning. Uh, and it's one of the focuses of our efforts, making sure that our students are, are doing well. And a big part of that is going to be uh, making sure that we check in with them uh, during those designated times, those 16 minutes every class period, as well as utilizing our, our counselors uh, to make sure that um, if they need a little bit more in-depth support, then our counselors are there uh, for them. And again, here we have Julie Perino and Mr. Alvarado. Uh, so if um, you're interested in who your child's counselor is, it should be on the student schedules that you're receiving this weekend. If not, it's on ARIES. Um, once you log in on the profile page on the top right, you'll see the name of their uh, counselor. Um, as well as, uh, you know, communication is going to be one of our priorities, making sure that our parents are well informed, their students really know what's going on. Um, you know, we want to make sure that we keep those lines of communication open, we address questions, we address concerns in a timely manner. So please stay tuned because obviously a big part of school is those extracurricular activities. Uh, so we are right now working on plans to still offer school clubs in some way. You know, our, our, there's nothing we want more than students to be able to return to school physically. And a big part of them being here on campus is the energy of a middle school campus where you have all these activities, lunchtime, intramurals, school clubs, sports. Uh, so we're going to do the best that we can for the time being to offer them what we can. And school clubs may be one of those. Uh, we also have a virtual back to school night. Um, I believe it's August 18th. So uh, stay tuned for more information. And then also uh, we do have a, a plan in place uh, that will support our counselors in their efforts to check in with students and offer uh, supports uh, during distance learning. So with school just less than two weeks away, uh, there's some important dates that you all need to be aware of. Next week on Tuesday, August 4th is our sixth grade drive through roundup. On Wednesday, August 5th is our seventh grade drive through roundup. And on Thursday, August 6th, is our eighth grade roundup. Uh, so this is a very important day where parents will uh, this year drive through our parking lot on Colorado Avenue between the hours of 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. to pick up their children's learning materials, textbooks, workbooks, anything they need to get be ready August 12th, the start of the school year. So please have your child schedule ready. It'll just make it run uh, much more efficiently if you have that information with you and who the teachers are. Um, but again, we look forward to meeting all of you. Usually it's a in-person roundup in our gymnasium. This year, we, obviously, we've had to make accommodations. Um, but again, uh, it's really important that you come that day so your kid has everything they need for the start of the school year. The other really important thing they need to have is their TUSD Chromebook. Many of our seventh graders are in our dual language program. Those immersion students receive Chromebooks, many of them here as sixth graders. So those students do not need to come on August 7th between 8 and 11 a.m. Only students that do not have a Turlock Unified Chromebook should come to Dutcher Middle School between the hours of 8 and 11 on Friday, August 7th to pick up their Chromebook and charger. Their login information is the same login information from the previous year. So we really recommend that your child, uh, once they get their Chromebook, as soon as possible to log in and make sure that their password works, they remember all the login information. And if there's an issue with the Chromebook, whether it's, there, it's damaged, or just, you know, there, there's some type of issue, please report it to our main office and we'll make sure to address it. So everything is ready August 12th. So again, first day of school starts at 8.15 for all of our students. For seventh and eighth graders, the school day will end at 11.10 a.m. So again, please ensure that your child is able to log into their Chromebook, that their TUSD account works. Any issues, please contact us and we'll make sure to get it ready by August 12th. 
Um, so we also recommend that parents kind of designate a learning space at home for your child. Uh, so they have the space necessary to participate in, um, which may end up being Zoom learning online sessions or Google Meets online sessions. Teachers, the school will send out information to students through their email, the TUSD email, and post on teachers' Google Classroom prior to the, their, um, their first day of school. Uh, so we ask that in that first day of school, they log into their Chromebook, they go on to Google Classroom, and the information, the links will be on there for their Zoom or Google Meets online class. It's something students should be familiar with since many participated, I think all of them participated in Zoom sessions back in the spring. Students will also be receiving emails. I mentioned that already. And if you look, notice here on the right, you have digital distance learning tips. Uh, these are things that we as a school are really going to prioritize. Our teachers are going to um, really reinforce with our students because we feel if they do these things, they're going to be successful in this distance learning uh, settings. Now you as a parent to monitor your child's progress, if you haven't done so yet, please create a Aries Family Link account. Um, that will really help you monitor your child's progress, especially their, their grades. Teachers are going to do their best to grade student work in a timely manner. So that really is starting at the seventh grade level is the best way to know how your child is doing. Um, you know, a few years ago, you were able to ask your child for, a, a, you know, their binder and, and kind of go through their work to kind of see if how organized they are and and how they're doing. Um, now that's kind of changed with technology becoming a bigger part of a child's educational experience. So we also recommend that a parent maybe take a look at their child's Google Classroom, maybe their Google Drive, so just kind of see the, the type of work that they're doing, how organized they are, things of that nature. If you have not set up a Aries Family Link account, please contact Lynette, Lynette Lewis, one of our clerical staff here at Dutcher Middle School. Her email's there on the screen. Um, as a way to also monitor your child's progress, I recommend that you email your child's teachers if you ever have any questions about work, participation, engagement, if they're, you know, how they're doing in this uh, really unique setting. You can also count, uh, contact their school counselor, again, either Ms. Perino or Mr. Alvarado. If you still have any questions after reaching out to any of them or if there's more of an admin issue, please don't hesitate to email me as well. My email's here on the screen. You could also call us here at the school, 667-8817. We do our best to really update our website um, as much as possible. So I recommend that you bookmark our website. You follow us on Facebook. You like us on um, Instagram. We, again, do our best to kind of uh, keep parents uh, up to date on anything school related. This is a really a unique time. So communication is going to be key. That's going to be something that uh, we prioritize. Again, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. Thank you for watching. Let's have a great year.